Hi everyone, now in today's video is about taking pictures. A lot of people think that it's vain or rather you're too full of yourself when you're busy taking pictures of yourself all the time, especially selfies. People are so up and arms against it. We need to stop doing that. Take your pictures no matter what you're doing. Just take them. Just take them. It doesn't matter whether you're practicing or you're doing it because you love or whatever reason it is. Just take your pictures. Take pictures of yourself. Love yourself by taking pictures of yourself. You don't need to, you know, wait for a, a, a photographer to come and take pictures of you. But anyway, the main purpose of this video is the reason I, I just wanted to talk about why you really need to take pictures because there are other reasons that will actually help you with um, with you taking pictures. Now, this branding, this is the thing. If you have a, let's say a business or you have a social media that you want to promote, your pictures need to look amazing so that people can be hooked. People can be like, oh, she looks nice. Oh my goodness. You know, all those things, but you will learn as time goes by. So with branding, you need to get great pictures for your profile pictures, your WhatsApp, your Facebook, your, um, your Instagram, <laughs> you know, don't use your social media just for, uh, for friends, use it as, um, a way to create business. So start cleaning up your image by putting great pictures that you've taken by yourself. Believe me, anyone can take a good picture. It's just that you need to put in uh, effort in it. And if you don't, I mean, find a friend, I'm pretty sure like you will find in every probably two people, maybe, maybe three, maybe five, there's somebody who takes great pictures and they can tell you, okay, lift your chin, do this and do that and you will take your pictures. Now, another thing is for product. Let's say you're selling, you want to sell product. It, you don't have to take pictures of just yourself. You can take pictures of, you know, the products that you're selling. So in case you have, maybe a, you're showcasing something that you want to sell, you need to understand a picture taking, just the basics. You don't need to go deep into it. The best thing to do is finding light, light and background of the particular item that you're taking picture of. It needs to be nicely done and there's no clutter that's all that you need to know and the settings of your camera you of course if you're using a, uh, your phone it's point to shoot so that's easy that's very easy to to figure out but um for branding it's very good another thing that i wanted to talk about is tracking your progress in social media so for instance you don't even know what your thing is on social media use pictures to relay that message you're probably into uh, taking pictures of landscape of buildings of flowers of people of I don't know whatever you like taking pictures of like start putting them out there and stop hiding them and i am talking to myself because i've been taking pictures for the longest like from 2014 or something like that and i hid my pictures and when i look back at those pictures they really had they were really well composed and very very good pictures to that can still be used right now. So don't sit on your on your <laughs> don't sit on your pictures. Don't sit on your what's it called? Like um, bring it out for the world to see. If there's anybody who can criticize your work and criti uh, give it a, um, a productive criticism, then even better. So put yourself out there so that you can look back and see where you've come from. Also in so many other areas, it's just not in photography. Let's say you're doing fitness. It's also good to put your pictures out there and uh, see how you looked. You know, probably at that time, you are on a different fitness level and as you you know you keep on growing keep learning and keep growing so don't forget that you're putting it there for yourself and for others you know sometimes you know you might put things up on the internet and you think okay maybe i'm <laughs> i'm just i don't know i'm just being too much and i don't know if i'm doing this for the right reasons but um even if people don't recognize your work or they don't they will come it takes just consistency uh, why should you take pictures 
for remembrance. I mean, when you're talking to others, uh, to your friends, uh, let's say you're meeting somewhere and you haven't met for a long time, normally you show people pictures. I remember back in the day when, you know, there were no phones and all that, and we had to rely on picture albums. So you had all these picture albums in your house and whenever guests came, well, at least for me back home, a guest came and they would just uh, look through pictures and be like, oh, this is what happened. Oh, this is, oh my goodness. Oh, this is where you are. Yes, we went on holiday here. We did this, we did that. So it's really, really nice for remembrance. I mean, taking pictures, don't look at it as a bad thing like that. Like, um, there's so much posi positive in taking pictures. And I feel like when you look back and you see yourself as a different person, and now you've become this beautiful flower or whatever you've transformed, because no, you know what? You will always transform. It could be for the worst or for the better. Now you can see your progress through that by taking pictures. Now you can get back into your head and be like, wait a minute, I was fat here now. I am skinny or maybe I was skinnier during those times so what did I do that time to get better here or I was I, I used to take care of my body and now um, right now it looks different I need to get back to that so pictures are very important it's important for you to take pictures and don't stop yourself don't let anybody else stop you from taking your beautiful pictures whatever it is that you're into so I think that's all for today. <laughs> Thanks so much. And I will talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.